I, I think our current framework in the universities and in companies and everywhere else assumes that financial gain is the only success. Now it turns out that you know, we define innovation as an embodiment of a useful idea in the marketplace. So by definition, it has to be producing value for people and profit uh, and things like that. So fi financial factors are always you know, part of the equation, but that doesn't mean that you know, um, our, our own personal success or company success is, is only that factor, right? So I, 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 um, I think that if you have a successful innovation, by the definition like we talked about where it's changing something in the marketplace, then uh, um, really that can occur with uh, um, mild financial gain for those involved or it can occur with massive financial gain, right? So clearly, you know, successful innovation in the market has a range of financial outcomes. And I think we're, we're um, you know, thinking uh, too much about trying to predetermine you know, the size of the financial gain, gain when it's actually part of the innovation process. So, um, and I think for me personally, um, if I look at the seven enterprises I, I've done, the most profitable ones are the ones that uh, we took um, no investment from the outside, we bootstrapped. They're quite narrow in, 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 in field and in impact. And I think that makes sense because if you're really focusing on profit, then initially, the whole time, you're going to um, integrate over all that time, you're going to be most profitable, but your impact has to grow widely over time, right? Um, my other kind of successes have been in, in sort of uh, technological where we've introduced technology really liked through innovation process and it's everywhere. Uh, one example is strain silicon, which is in every silicon chip out there today that, that needs performance. And, um, and you know, in that case, um, the company earned lots of uh, revenue. And you know, the founders did moderately okay, but uh, really nothing substantial. And yet it's, uh, you know, uh, it, it's kind of controlled where a $300 billion industry went. Right, so so I think there's a range of successes in there, and, and we oftentimes only focus on on sort of personal financial metrics, uh, which you can never ignore, but it's not the only criterion. You know, one of the, I, I guess if um, you know, based on what we were talking about before, about there could be different kinds of success. I guess the way that we would have to define failure then is is that you didn't achieve success in any of those uh, pockets. So let's say there's no financial success and there's no technological success. There's no evidence of us putting anything in the marketplace, no innovation, right? So uh, one time there was a company we started and I was introduced to another person with a, a lot of uh, interesting ideas and patents and uh, we were able to figure out how to build in principle a memory that um, would be much lower cost, and so that was a very exciting and interesting time. Uh, but uh, it turns out that a lot of times today, you know, when you work in crowded fields, and memory is certainly a crowded field because it's very advanced and large companies work on it, and it's the same market, right? We're going after the same market. And, and so we came in from a, a, an angle where there was a new circuit topology that seemed to be possible but it didn't include any transistors. And so it's very exciting, um, but a lot of times I think in very, very mature fields like this, you realize after you go through the innovation process, it eventually reveals to you why things are done the way they're done, right? And so um, after that experience, it's kind of like, ah, this is why transistors are used, right? And I think really good innovation process, if you can do enough, enough of it, like we did there a really good innovation process within a few years, we could tell that the company should not go forward. It turns out they went forward for a variety of reasons that had nothing to do with the original idea, which, which happens a lot, but um, I think that's a case of, of, of failure in both, um, both categories that you know, wasn't financial and it, and it didn't end up with um, a new kind of uh, 
innovation in the marketplace.